would look like. Uh, this looks simple, functionality wise, but there is a lot of uh, components which go into it, right? And uh, if you can notice my video, so this is how it looks under the hood. Basically, I, I kind of exposed everything so that you can see the complexity involved here. But it's good that our students learn what these electronic components are, not just merely using them as part of the robotics classes organized in Kotwal school. Our students have also learned how to how these various electronic components that we use in our day to day life, which often get unnoticed. Uh, how what are the electronic components and what are the actual functionality of a resistor, for example, or a capacitor or a a triple five timer ICs. So based on these, it actually ignites some ideas, innovative ideas in young students to actually, once they know how these components work, then they can start enhancing on those ideas or on that knowledge to build something really more innovative for the future, right? So as the kids, uh, I believe uh, you cannot see it clearly, but as the kids, uh, students mentioned, we have two triple five timer ICs, one here and the other here. You'll not be able to see that because it's all uh, buried within the connectors and all. And the main power source comes from the battery, right, students? And uh, like the students mentioned, we have various resistors here. Uh, all have been used for a particular, I mean, getting a particular voltage out from the batteries so that the voltage is all regulated that goes to the triple five timer ICs and you could see having used all these things it's all well controlled and you can see that everything is happening according to what we generally see in your in our day-to-day -day life right in our, any traffic signal this is what uh, happens so you could see the red and the green light going on one side while the green and the red going on the other side and between that, we are having also the orange light, right? So, yeah. So I may request all the parents to share for these products that the students of uh, seventh class have done while they were in their previous academic year. When they were in their sixth class, they learned electronics of robotics. And using electronics of robotics, this is one of the products that they have come up with and uh, very well implemented. Good job uh, by students. Good job, everybody. So open for questions. Anybody have any questions? The students will be able to answer. So this is all using, as you could see, this is all using electronic components only, right? So, so this is the learning outcome. I mean, from the learning outcome of what they have learned during their sixth class, they have designed a, a electronic based traffic light. Okay, any questions, anybody? If not, we can move on to the next next demo. I'll just turn it off. Right. Hello, sir. Yes. My name is Yash. Is yes. it the same technology used in roads? Yes, it's, a, yes. it's the same technology. But there are, I, will, uh, I would say that there are many ways of implementing it. Uh, there are newer ways also. Basically, you can use a microcontroller and more expensive microprocessor to actually and the control. And the components are big. Yes. And big components will also be used. Yes, yes. You can use microcontroller. The job would be simpler, but but at the same time the cost would be a little more high. But uh, our students have to keep the timer at the minutes. Sir. Exactly. So. Okay, sir. We... Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, so let's move on.